my dear students this is preeti and today we are going to discuss about the digestive system we all love to eat and we eat different different varieties of food like chapatis pizza burgers hot dogs pancakes brownies yummy yes but do you know where this food goes after eating and what happens to this food and from where do we get energy to work yes this is the digestive system of your body which digest means break down your food and gives you energy to do lots of work yes so in short we can say the digestion means break down of the food yes so let's begin with the beginning so this is the digestive system of your body and it is approx 30 feet long yes and it starts from the mouth from where you put the food and it ends at the anus from where you poop yes so this is the complete digestive system and let's see the parts of it the first one is mouth the second one is esophagus we also call it as food pipe then comes to liver stomach small intestine and large intestine so these are the parts of the digestive system now the step 1 when you eat the food you put into your mouth yes you put into your mouth and with the help of your strong teeth you mash it grind it and grind it again and again and mixes it with the saliva and breakdown of the food takes place and you mash the food completely yes so in short we can say that digestion starts from the mouth only because of the saliva and grinding of the teeth now this complex food which you have broken passes from the esophagus that is the food pipe and from food pipe it reaches to your stomach in food pipe no digestion takes place it is the only passage it provides only the passage from mouth to the stomach now when the food this mashed food reaches to the stomach in the stomach this mashed food get mixes with the digestive juices acids and enzymes present in the stomach and further digestion takes place means this mashed up food further get converted or we can say get break down into the more simpler forms but here also digestion does not complete now from the stomach this mashed up food reaches to the small intestine which is a very important organ of your digestive system as complete digestion takes place in this small intestine yes this small in this small intestine actually it receives the bile juice from the liver which is the largest organ of your body from the liver it receives the bile juice now what is bile juice actually bile juice is a type of digestive juice which digest the fats now fats in your food is like oil butter ghee peanuts groundnuts so this bile juice digest the fats like oil ghee butter and this small intestine also receives pancreatic juice which is also a digestive juice from the pancreas now this pancreatic juice helps in digesting the proteins so overall we can say that all the digestion of fats proteins takes place in the small intestine and digestion completes here now the small intestine also has blood vessels after the complete digestion of the food this food get converted into the glucose yes and now this glucose is been absorbed by the blood vessels present in the small intestines actually these blood vessels take the glucose and transport to all the body cells and tissues of your body where this glucose get converted into energy with the help of oxygen that you breathe yes so finally now we know that this food is converted into glucose and glucose is been transported by the blood to all the body cells and converted into energy now what happened to the wasted food now this food waste reaches from small intestine to the large intestine now in large intestine no digestion takes place yes now then what happens in large intestine only absorption of water takes place in this large intestine and 
after absorption of the water feces are formed that is stool or in common language we can say potty is formed and which is removed from the anus so in large intestine no digestion takes place only absorption of water takes place so this was the overall digestive system i hope it is clear to everyone now let's summarize is that digestion means the breakdown of the food starts from the mouth reaches to the stomach again digestion takes place and then reaches to the small intestine and where digestion completes and we get glucose and the body cells convert the glucose into energy with the help of oxygen so this was all about the digestive system if you have any doubt then ask me any kind of questions till then enjoy your studies enjoy your food bye bye